Hey guys, uh, I'm back for some more Art of War 3, and uh, I'll be going up against a Confederation officer in the map Frozen Bay. Uh, this map, I'm scouting in groups of three according to this map's layout uh, to get as much coverage as possible. And I'm scouting some, some of the terrain and collecting containers along the way. And using that blue scouting boost, I efficiently move my troops in and I can scout my enemy's base. And telling by his upgraded barracks and his production of fortress, I can tell he's going to do a fortress rush. And so I get some coyotes out and I start upgrading my assault vehicle factory. And scouting the the ocean, I am collecting the naval containers along the way, and upgrading my base slowly, so that I can go for hawks. Now, of course, I lay some anti-personnel mines, because heavy assaults uh, are the units that deal the most damage in a fortress heavy assault rush. And about now, I think, is where my internet disconnected for a short period of time. So you can see how this played out in the battle. And the mines saved me from the rush while my internet was gone. So that was a really, really good thing. And now my enemy knows that I have mines and he starts deactivating them. My, my Wi-Fi came back. So I started using my hawks to take down the fortresses. And I got my first Jaguar out, so now my enemy really cannot uh, do anything now with fortresses. My enemy destroyed an airfield, making me lose one hawk, but my other hawk just came back, so its fuel won't run out. And of course, I start rebuilding after the attack, so I can prevent further attacks. And I can scout the enemy and see that he is going HQ level 3. And I produce some armadillos just to lay a few more mines, just in case he plans to attack me again with infantry. And as you can see here, I'm producing Dragonfly light attack helicopters because I can easily defend this guy's attacks. So I'm completing some of the contracts. And I can see he is once again attacking with fortress and heavy assaults. So I take out the fortresses. So my anti-personnel mines still stay there. And now I move my jaguars into position. It seems that my enemy started attacking, so I moved my hawks back in. And the range of his heavy assaults are just astonishingly big. He must have been using a golden 
infantry attack boost. And as you can see here, I am attacking my enemy with the dragonflies. And I took down a power plant in construction really fast. So I assume this guy had really weak building construction. And at this moment, I can see my enemy has an airfield and a navy factory ready. But I didn't realize that yet. So I regroup my hawks. And my other my other contract was to destroy buildings with armadillos, so I'm constructing a lot of armadillos. And of course this guy has weaker buildings, so I was able to destroy two buildings in one run. And that prevented my enemy from going vertex. And in that run, I scouted my enemy and I took down a few of his units guarding his base. Now I move out my armadillos. And here I destroy the rest of his units guarding his base. And quickly move in my armadillos. Only one hawk went back. And seeing that he has Zeus, I... Uh, I target the heavy assault vehicle factory first. And once that is complete, I go on to destroying other things, but mainly his HQ, because he had HQ level 4 now. The thing this guy did wrong was that he Focus too much resources on anti-air and heavy assaults that he didn't have any Zeus for mid-game defense. Also, his buildings were pretty weak, so he should have upgraded his buildings a little bit more. It would have helped him a lot in this scenario. And GG.